All right, man, peace. So NBA great LeBron James recently had a phenomenal game, a historically phenomenal game, in which he shot over 80% from the field and had 17 assists. Of course, LeBron James super fan Shannon Sharp, as well as LeBron James super troll Skip Bayless are going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. <laughs> Next up, LeBron James and the Cavs keep on rolling. They beat the Hawks last night, and they've won. They've now won 15 of their last 16. LeBron. LeBron likes to throw up that little left-handed running jump shot now, I notice. He must be working on that a lot. That's a shot that Larry Bird used to utilize a lot back in the day, especially when he was going against a team that he felt like he could style on. And every once in a while, he'd also do it in a big game. But it's very clear to me that LeBron is most likely watching a lot of Larry Bird footage. LeBron had 25 points and tied a career high with 17 assists, including a great behind-the-back pass to Kyle Korver for a three-pointer. Let's take a listen to LeBron after the game. I can see plays happen before they actually happen. Um, it's been a gift of mine for a long time. And, um, you know, like I said, my teammates do a great job of, you know, you know making you know, kind of that gift that I have you know, come to fruition at the end of LeBron loved to toot his own horn. I wonder if he saw Kevin Durant pulling up in his face before that happened. So, um, I've been blessed with the ability to see things before they happen on the basketball floor. Mm. The Shannon, how impressive that, was LeBron last that night? That was humble. Yeah, I, that, I don't want him to be humble. Tell it. <laughs> I believe in conspicuous consumption. If you have something, flaunt it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, what did Shannon just say? Did he say conspicuous? <laughs> Next, he's going to say suffering suck a tash. <laughs> I ain't trying to suppress what I have. He does have yes, the gift. Got the he gift. got it. Yep. At some point, Skip Bayless, uh -huh. and I'm done. Today, I'm done with it. I'm going to stop. Bullshit. You ain't never going to be done with this shit. I'm going to stop saying this is LeBron being LeBron. He great. He ain't maintaining. He's still going up. Mm -hmm. How? In year 15. That's what I asked him. I said, baby, in year 15, how you still ascending? I thought you was a kite. Like a kite, just go across the sky. Well, now I realize you're a weather balloon. You just keep going up and up and up and up. Slow down, baby. I want to see you. Don't stand too high. Goddamn. Can he do this, Skip? Do you know last night tied the third highest field goal percentage of his career? Mm. Third highest, Joy. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he shot 85%. From the flow, he played 35 minutes. He got a 13 shots. Kawhi Leonard played 16 minutes last night. Got a 12. Mm. Oh, when did Kawhi turn into Russell Westbrook? But different like LeBron. Mm. Skip. <laughs> Why are you throwing gratuitous shots at Kawhi Leonard for? And then comparing him to Russell Westbrook. Don't do that. Kawhi Leonard is very proficient. He's not going to shoot 40 percent from the field like Russell Westbrook will. You six 17. We're going to. You know what I want to talk about? I don't yeah. want to talk about Kawhi right coming now. He ain't coming for nothing. Yes, he is. Look, don't nobody want to see him. Mm. He don't nobody want to see my man. My, I'm about to call him LeBron Clint Eastwood James. When you see his ass, it's about to be a showdown. No, nobody want to see his ass. I love it. He called me the other night. Mm. He said, Shay, I hear, I hear what they say. Mm. He said, I hear. He said, I'll be listening. They be sending me clips of what Skip said, what everybody be saying. Ooh, the clothes are now. Wait, he watches Undisputed. Don't worry about what he said. We and Braun have private conversations. <laughs> Hell yeah. He called me up. He said, you know, that he know what you're talking about. And I said, okay, baby, that's good you watch the show. Now make sure you pick up your drawers off the floor. Every day I walk in, I got I see your damn drawers on the, on the damn floor. Put them in a the hamper and wash your damn dishes. Don't give a damn who you are. Me and Savannah ain't just going to be picking up after your ass all day. You're 33 years old. Goddamn. <laughs> LeVar, I'm doing LeVar ball. I know he told me this in confidence, Jelly, but I got to yeah. put it out there. Yeah. But anyway, well, who going to close for LeVar? He going to miss Kyrie. He told me, he's a shape. I look at Kyrie like a Monday. Mm. He looked better going than coming. So, <laughs> we gone. Be gone, Kyrie. Mm. Now let me show you what I'm capable of since I had to suppress who I naturally am. Mm -hmm. Now I can let it all hang out. That's why I told him, baby, this is your season. Let it all hang out. Okay? Let it all hang out. No, stop wearing that damn headband, too. Let the world see you bald. Who gives a shit? Just let it go. Me and Savannah still love you. The kids love you. That's all that matter. Let the world see you ain't got no goddamn hair on your head. I'm going to do what I do. 42% from the flow. Hmm. 50, Skip, there have been seven guys. Yep. Oscar did it five times. 
28, 8, and 9. Mm. Russ and Harden did it last year. One shot 41%, the other shot 42%. Mm. Well, that's why I call them Westbrook and Hardhead. All right. Look, they 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 are great natural talents, but as far as basketball players per se, they still have a ways to go. But James Harden has taken huge strides this season. I definitely give him credit for that. He's taken huge strides, but that's with the assistance of Chris Paul. I think that Chris Paul has taken a lot of mental pressure off of James Harden. Um, you know, a lot of James Harden fans have, have told me that they believe that I'm going a little bit too far in my criticism of James Harden, and they try to list his uh, performances. Look, anybody who has the ball in their hands as much as James Harden does is going to put up numbers. I'm not concerned with numbers. When you evaluate players like James Harden or Russell Westbrook, you have to watch the game. You have to see how they perform in clutch situations. Their decision-making, do they make the right pass? Do they know when to shoot? Do they know where to shoot from in certain situations? That's how you evaluate players like that who have the ball in their hands all the time. So... And you compare them to LeBron, like there's a, there is a discernible difference in regards to overall ability between what I call the upper crust, that being LeBron, KD, Steph, and Kawhi, and the next level with James Harden and Westbrook. Like, like there's, to me, is a discernible difference. And to be quite frank with you, I might at this point, from what I've seen from Kyrie, I might even put Kyrie over, over uh, definitely over Westbrook. I'm not sure about Hardhead. Hardhead's having such a great season, it's hard to do that right now. But I would definitely take Kyrie over Westbrook. So when Skip Bayless said what he said about taking Kyrie over Westbrook, thus far he's been proven to be correct. Mm. LeBron James is shooting 58%. 58 as a three. Not, a, not Shaq. Not DeAndre Jordan. Mm. Not one of these guys that's shooting the ball from eight men. That's what he's doing on a nightly basis. Mm. Now remember last year he had 17 assists. And then he come back. That was year 14. Normally, people don't be setting career highs as they get late in their career. But uh, Yeah, well, hey, normally those same people, their name is not on the biogenesis ledger either. So that's neither here nor there. But obviously, LeBron, he's like, you know what? And Ty Lusa, hey, obviously he's fourth quarter PR. We already know assisted three-pointer. We already know all that skill. Mm. But at some point in time, even you got to be in honor of what you're with. And that's... Even you, Skip, with your hating ass. Skip, where you get your degree from? You said you went to Vanderbilt, right? Okay, so you got a degree in journalism and, and, and hating? You got a PhD in hating, didn't you, at Vanderbilt? I got to check their curriculum. Because you definitely, you should be teaching the class. And I passed to Kyle Corbin. He said, wait. He said, I got more of that. Mm. That, wasn't nothing. that wasn't even my best. I done like seven of those in practice. Mm. Wait till you see this one between my leg from Kyle Corbin. Mm. He said that he. <laughs> he said from between his legs from half court. <laughs> he said that he told you that. Yeah, yeah. Me and him be talking, cause I already told. You. It, what what made him upset, Skip, is that you and a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Oh, James Harden, two games of twenty five seventeen. Mm. Hold his yak, but man. Mm. You saw that? Did you see what James Harden shot when he got those twenty five points? Mm. LeBron James, you saw what he shot? Yep. Yeah, Skip. Me and LeBron was on the phone all day, all damn night last night. Got Savannah on three way. Now we talking about some shit for the family. He brought your dumb ass name up. I said, don't bring that old man name up. I got to deal with him every morning. I don't want to hear his damn name. He told me he just wanted me to put you in your place. That's why I'm doing it right now. You know, LeBron doing shit you ain't never seen before. Said Jordan ain't never did. Wilt, Magic, and none of them guys could shine my baby shoes. You no, know, I told him after I tell him that. You no. Know, I got to tell you off, too, because you ain't come home to see the family in a long time. Me and Savannah won't go out. We won't, we won't go out to a nice restaurant. We tired sitting here eating home-cooked meals all the time with y'all ass on TV getting all the, all the damn spotlight. Take your family out. Shit. 13 shots. Let them 13. You make me sick. And I need, need to stop flirting with them triple doubles. Mm. Stop teasing me, LeBron, and go on and get it. Stop teasing me. That's what I told his ass 15 years ago when me, him, and Savannah got married. Stop teasing. Shit. If you like it, then put a ring on it. Goddamn. 20, 25, 17, and 7. You make me sick. Seven? You only had seven. Seven rebounds. What is that about? What, no rebound? Gotta turn it up. Lamar. How you gonna get rebounds? How, you, how, how you gonna get rebounds? You taking the ball out of the net. You thought it was 20 oh. or 30 from three. Ain't nobody missed. Oh. But no 
four rebounds again. <sighs> Tell me when it's my turn. Yeah, your turn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Shannon and Skip's rapport, especially on these LeBron conversations, they, it's, they're far above the rapport that Skip had with Stephen A. Because Stephen A didn't know how to troll Skip back. Skip is a master troll. Shannon knows how, <laughs> Shannon knows how to troll his ass right back. <laughs> Before I address the bigger picture of how LeBron played last night and how he's played so far through whatever they played, 27 games. We I, I have two questions that I need to ask. Okay. Oh, go ahead. After you ask me, I got two questions for you. First off, how old are you? Because you look like you're about to drop dead. Number two, how the hell your hair still red and you're 97 years old? What you putting in your goddamn hair? Kool-Aid? How is it that the Cleveland Cavaliers get to play the Atlanta Hawks like 30 times a year. That They play them 20 times a year just in Cleveland. And Stop. I don't get it. Does Stop. LeBron yeah. call the commissioner before the year and say, Commission, need a little help, a little Eastern Conference help here. Hawks are going to be terrible. We, we need to... We need <laughs> like the Mavs. The they terrible like the Mavs. Huh? Who beat your team with the your guy back? The are not terrible. Oh, oh they, well, they, they, they would just terrible. happen to be terrible when the Cavs played them. Okay, we get it. Well, the, Ma so, the Mavericks are a bad team, but... No, with Carlisle culture, you know that they're going to get better as the season goes along. So I understand what Skip's trying to say. The Mavericks are always going to start out bad based on their personnel, but they're going to get better as the, as the year goes along because they're so well coached. And that, that initial adrenaline that teams start off with at the start of the year, it normally starts to wear off around game 20. And then you start to see you know, certain teams start to break away. That's why you see certain teams that you know have good personnel even if they start off slow, they start to pick up around game 16, 17, and onward. That's what makes what's going on in OKC so strange. Because you, one would think that with the pedigree of their players, that they would be playing better. But once, once again, it's not shocking to me. It's surprising, but it's not shocking because Westbrook is such a nut job. And then you combine him with two other players who've never won anything. So, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, the Atlanta Hawks, just for perspective, for those who have probably lost touch with the Hawks, they are now 6-21, and 21, which is the worst record in the entire NBA, 6-21. Mm -hmm. and 21. And last night they featured such players as Tarian Prince. You know Tarian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. had a good game. And how about Tyler Cavanaugh? Do you know Tyler Cavanaugh? Yeah, he's on a two-way contract. Yeah, he's a 6'9 center. He started at center last night for the Atlanta Hawks because... Okay, well, what's that mean? It's the NBA, ain't it? I mean, shit. What, you gonna go through the whole roster? Because he's on the two-way from the Erie Bayhawks. So mm -hmm. he's got to go back to the Erie Bayhawks. Yeah, he's, he started he's, in Cleveland yeah. at center for the Atlanta Hawks against LeBron James. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's DeAndre Bember. You know DeAndre, right? Mm -hmm. Great player, DeAndre. He's, well, how many all-star teams? I, I don't remember, but a couple. Well, Skip, I bet he, I bet you he's been in the same amount of all-star games as your ass. I bet you that couple maybe I, I forget but then isaiah taylor the immortal isaiah taylor they're, they're just stocked with names that all was, stars that was the same team mm -hmm. that you was hating praise on when yeah. Kyrie closed the deal they mm -hmm. had those same players mm -hmm. on the hawk they didn't play half dominique so just for <laughs> just for the record against the pitiful pathetic atlanta hawks ah! six and 21 <laughs> lebron james played a game high 35 minutes. Nobody on either team played more minutes than LeBron James played against the 6-21 and 21 Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nobody played more minutes and nobody been hating for more minutes than you. LeBron played 35 minutes. You hating on him for 35 minutes. I mean, shit. How do, how do you stay alive? Do you have like an IV in your room, in your bedroom that, that uh, pump new hating blood into your body? I mean, damn. Why is that? I don't know. Just a, just a question I have because... He again stuffed the stat sheet, and he was really good. Those stats you just threw up, they're, they're shockingly great. That's LeBron at his best against the worst team in the NBA. And let's go all the way to the fourth quarter. May we? Mm -hmm. So, Cleveland leads after three quarters, 94 to 7. Look at Shannon's face. Shannon, looks, Shannon get mad. Yo. I said this before, the only two times Shannon get legit mad is if you say something about Kaepernick or LeBron. To 77. Wouldn't this be a nice night for LeBron to maybe take the final quarter off and save just a little bit of his mileage for the postseason when everybody expects LeBron nope. to at least get to the finals? He go what mileage? 
Shit. My baby ain't no regular car. He's a, he's a damn space shuttle. He's like the DeLorean in Back to the Future. We 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 run on plutonium. We run on damn gas. Wouldn't it be? No, he didn't. He played a game high nine minutes and twenty six seconds of the fourth quarter. Kyle Korver played nine twenty six too. Okay, but I'm saying that's tied for a game high, right? Mm -hmm. So anybody else play any more minutes than nine twenty six? No. Nope. No, neither team. Nobody played more than nine twenty six of a blowout against the worst team in the league. Actually, how can actually, you justify they, this? They could, well, let me say this really quickly in regards to Skip's point. What Skip is really alluding to is, the, is something that I've already stated, which is that LeBron is definitely stat conscious. He's definitely stat sheet conscious. There's no doubt about that. He's, he's your modern day advanced metrics super athlete. He knows all the advanced metrics. He knows exactly where to shoot from. He knows uh, how to play to make sure that his shooting percentage is extremely high. Don't get me wrong. It benefits him to a degree because it helps his team win. But he's never going to do anything outside of what the stat sheet tells him that he should do and what the computer tells him that he should do. And that is why when he's in his most pressurized moments, that he oftentimes, oftentimes does not do well. But I will say that in the last two seasons, especially since he was able to win a championship with Cleveland, he's been much better in the clutch because I believe that a lot of that, you know, that burden has been lifted off of his shoulders. But what Skip is basically alluding to is what I've been stating for a long time about LeBron. LeBron wants to make sure that after he's gone, people can look back at his career and say, well, he didn't win the amount of championships that, that Jordan won, but look, he shot a higher percentage and he had more rebounds, he scored more points, he had more assists, you know, so that he can build up a lot of, a lot of equity for antiquity. Cut actually with a 24 point lead that they cut it to 13. Oh, cut it to 13. So LeBron plays all the way to the 234 mark of the game. 234 left in the game, and at that point it's 121 to 105. And you're telling me you're afraid of Tyler Cavanaugh? Yeah. He's going to hit a couple of shots that are going to get you right back in the game. Tyler Cavanaugh of the Erie Bayhawks? You know what? what? Skip, this is what I'm starting to see. Mm. With yeah, Skip, I'm really starting to see you a bitter old man. I mean, goddamn, Skip, who broke your heart? Shit. What bitch left you all them years ago? Put on wrinkles on your damn face. Looking like a damn nutsack. You've been married for years trying to take it out on my baby. What did LeBron do to you? I mean, you got it like a vendetta against him. I mean, shit, like the Bloods and the Crips. Get over it. Will LeBron James put hey, up wait, 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 wait. It's not your turn yet. Okay. It's not your turn. Because in the fourth quarter, the stats got padded with three of three from the field. Way to go, LeBron. He even made a, he made a three in the... He took and made a three. That was, that's impressive. And he got a couple of rebounds. He should have gotten five or six rebounds because he had six assists in the fourth quarter to get to a career-high 17 assists. You don't think he was aware of his numbers through three quarters? If that, I, oh, he definitely was aware of his numbers, Skip. There's no doubt about that. I need to play against the pathetic Hawks to make sure I get my 17. Well, why not go ahead and play the final 22 minutes and 26 seconds and get 20? Because assistant coach Ty Lu finally said, "Look," <laughs> he said, "Assistant coach Ty Lu, yo, Ty Lu gonna smack the shit out of Skip one day." Said LeBron, "This is insane. We got it. We're good. Okay, Please come sit by me for the last two uh, minutes and thirty-four if, if seconds." Mind, if you don't mind me asking, he led the NBA in minutes played last mm -hmm. year, and he's leading again. Okay, yet he averaged thirty points for the entirety of the playoffs and had a triple double in the finals. They lost the finals, not because LeBron was tired, but because the Warriors were the better team. Mm. But what I'm starting to see with you... Wait, wait a second. What do you always tell me about father time? He is undefeated, correct? Yes. At some point, LeBron is going to pay for all these minutes to lead the league in minutes when you get to the postseason. In year 20. Well, goddamn, Skip. Father, father time got to take a L sometime. Might as well be with my baby. Because at the end of the day, I don't see him beating my baby. Right now, LeBron is just like a freight train. He just, you know, he's building up steam. And he about to tear Father Tom ass up. No doubt about it. Year 20. At some point. In year 20. In year 20, he's in year 15 now. Exactly. That's what he'll pay oh. for. In year exactly. In year 20, you're going to start to see a decline. By year 35, he's going to retire. I'm going to tell him, baby, why don't you take your ass home? In year 20. Ooh. And instead of having the 28 a game, he'll just average like... 23.7 mm. and year 20 mm. that's what he's gonna do but what i'm starting to notice about you since it's my time on the clock <laughs> what i'm starting to notice about you is that when lebron put up these monster stat lines mm -hmm. you go to the amount of minutes that he's played well how but, can i not to play the worst team in the league at home hold on 
You didn't say anything about Russell Westbrook putting up those numbers. I don't. We don't talk about Russell yes, Westbrook. I don't we care. We should be twelve and fifteen. I don't care. Why are we, we talking talk about, about him yesterday? James negative. James Harden. Skip. Have we lauded Russell? Yo, Shannon be arguing with himself. He said, "You don't say that about Russell Westbrook." Skip said, "We don't talk about. We shouldn't." <laughs> Russell Westbrook. You no. should, why, why are you lying? Me? I'm not. You should. I'm saying. You should. This is about LeBron. It, don't no. make it about somebody. Don't deflect the blame. No, there's Let no it hit him right in the middle of the there, forehead. LeBron James trains for this very moment. He trains his body. He. I know that for a fact because I train him every morning. We get up and we do our push-ups. We do our sit-ups. We go to the, we know we get in our little private gym. I spot him. And I, you know, I tell him, baby, watch your form. Because that, that old, that old uh, red bastard I got to work with every morning is watching your ass. So make sure that you keep your shit tight. He eats. He gets the proper rest. He gets the right people around him he to make sure. I admire if that I need greatly. to go 42, I can give it to you. But he if doesn't I, need to go 42. He just goes 42 because he is because he stopping can. the statue. Oh, like Tom Brady trying to throw he, that pass that oh, down? Please. Oh, and they got an illegal procedure. Yeah. They got backed up joint like that. Yeah. How many games do you play in the NFL? Oh, you're 16. 16. Yeah. What are you doing against the Atlanta Hawks? Please explain it to me. Justify it. Okay. A one Why game, would he? One game in the NFL is like five games in the NBA. Okay, you play like eight. Games, Skip. Really? If you play 16, 16 times five is what? 80, right, Joey? Mm. I'm good at math. You know, mm. the round numbers. As long as you can stick to zero. I'm not, but as long as you stick to zero, <laughs> keep the zeros and five stuff on there, I can come up to even numbers. I'm good with stuff okay, like that. Okay, how can you justify that many minutes against that bad a team? Help me out. It's it's clear what he's doing, and I'm okay with it. He is stuffing the stat sheet. He cannot catch that ghost in Chicago in the... Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Let him know, Skip. Agreed. Anybody with their eyes open can see what LeBron is trying to do. LeBron already knows that he cannot catch Jordan with championships. So he's hoping that he can try to balance out the scales in his own mind uh, by accumulating such phenomenal stats over the course of a career that people will look back and say, well, he never caught Jordan with championships, but, you know, look at what, look at how many more rebounds and assists and, and uh, points he scored than Michael. And LeBron's not even a scorer, and he scored more points than Michael, right? That's really what LeBron is going for. In the NBA Finals, it's over. The ghost was 6-0, and he's 3-5, hey, and it's just well, going to get well, worse. Well, well, Tom Brady ain't the GOAT then, because Joe Montana was 4-0. Uh, no, that's not an equivalent. That is not equivalent at all, Shannon. For the simple fact that Tom Brady has actually won more Super Bowls than Joe Montana. Now, that would be an equivalent form of a comparison if LeBron was, say, 7-2 and two in the finals or 7-1. and one. But seeing as he's 3-5, and five, no, you can't make that comparison because Tom Brady was never, really t was never really spoken of as being greater than Joe until he passed him in championships. It really wasn't until he beat Atlanta last year that people started to actually broach that subject seriously. Now, there, wasn't, there were initial conversations about it, uh, even, I would say, even before he beat the, uh, the Seahawks. But after he, even after he beat the Seahawks, it was like, Tom is right there, he's up there. But people still pretty much had Montana above him. But after he won the last year's uh, Super Bowl against Atlanta, even though there were some strange occurrences in that game, that's the only time that people started to seriously state that Tom Brady could possibly be above Joe Montana. So, no, that comparison is not equivalent. If LeBron had seven championships and maybe one or two losses, then, you know, that, 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 that form of a comparison would be a little, bit, a little bit more applicable. That boat is long sailed. Wait. You told me well, even just, before the Super Bowl, you said that Tom Brady is better than Joe until, Montana. Until, you admitted it. Until, hey, I'm like Lamar. I say a lot of things in the heat of the moment. Oh, <laughs> the heat of the moment. oh but but here's take the, it back. Skip, skip, here's the thing. Mm. At some point in time, just marvel at the greatness. I, I am. You see, but you know what? No, no, I'm, I'm going to give you this. Skip, just, just be happy you got him while you got him. Every day me and Savannah, we get down and we pray together. We thank God that we got this man. Six foot nine. 250 pounds of sexual chocolate. I mean, just be thankful. Every night your old ass go home and you glued to the TV set watching him. I know that for a fact. Your old ass watching the pregame, the game, the postgame. If you could, you watch practice, wouldn't you? Yes. In year 15, he is a little better than he's ever been. The, the numbers scream it. 
but I'm not going to give you some, what was last night, Tuesday night against Cleveland, even pre-Christmas. I keep telling you, the NBA season starts on Christmas Day. But here's the thing, though. But you was getting, when, when Kyrie was scoring 37 and 47 on a Wednesday and on a Tuesday, you had no problem. He's 25 years old and had the audacity to say, I'm going to go with this young team over here, and I want the king. Uh, yeah, and LeBron I'm said, I'm staying in the and, East. And LeBron said, I'm going to put foots in. Okay, we'll put foots, but, but you're putting <laughs> foots in the... <laughs> <laughs> we'll put foots in him then LeBron Kyrie's waiting for ya <laughs> you're putting foots in the Hawks yeah the Hawks. Too. and the you, Mavericks just, and we put foots in. piling up stats right. against and, the Atlanta and Hawks we, and we did the Hornets the same way and the Mavs cause the Mavs gave it to y'all cause think about this this what this what we're gonna talk about this later Ka uh, uh, Kawhi came back mm -hmm. and guess what y'all still gonna be third the Warriors you, and the... You are so wrong about that. You, what, I'm going to bite my tongue until we discuss this. Bite! It's going to be very interesting to see how um, how the San Antonio Spurs play against a team like the Rockets. Very interesting. I believe that San Antonio would have given Golden State a run for their money last year. Would they have beat them? I doubt it. And I think the series probably would have went about six games. And Golden State would have probably closed them out in San Antonio. But... I would be very interested to see what Popovich's game plan will be against this Rockets team with Chris Paul and James Harden. Yeah, because he's coming to you. He don't want to see Bron. He don't want to see Bron. Hey, Bron doesn't want to see them. Him you and them in the finals. See me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he calling Tupac now? So I'm going to give you this. LeBron is averaging career high 58% of the field. That's sensational. It's awe-inspiring. Mm -hmm. I give it up to you. Mm -hmm. He's 42% from the three-point line. It's unheard of. It's go, career go high. Go finish above 40. It, it won't last. Go to bet? Yeah. Go to bet? No, you... Hell yeah, we can bet, Skip. Hell yeah, we can bet. I'll, I'll, let's bet a dollar for every wrinkle on your damn face. I'll be a millionaire. How about that? Oh, you don't want to bet. I, I want to bet. Because you already bet me, like... 12 cases of Diet Mountain Dew that he's going to finish above 80 in front of the free throw line. Gonna he's it's Hell yeah, he's going to do it. Skip. By the end of the season, he's going to be shooting 70% from the flow, 60% from three, and 101% from the free throw line. How, how you like that? How you like that, Skip? Be the first man in history shoot over 100% from the free throw line. And I, I bet you he do it. And when he do it, you're going to drop dead. It's 76 right That's now, okay. and it's starting to tear. No, 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 no. Starting to Watch. trend down. The next two games, he'll be like 10 or 11. It'll bump mm. it right on back up to like 79.3. He's also averaging a career-high four turnovers a game, but I'm going to just let that one go for now because we're talking good LeBron. But Well, goddamn, Skip. Rome wasn't built in a day. I mean, shit. I mean, you're the type of dude point out a mistake on the Mona Lisa. I mean, damn. That's supposed to be a perfect painting, even though it looked like a damn man. But Great but, LeBron. But Skip. He's attempting things that... He who else would attempt that pass behind the back with Kyle Moore for three? clowning the... A lot of guys would attempt it. It just happens to be that he was able to be successful, Shannon. Why? Because, as Skip stated, and, and, and great players have always done this. It's not just a LeBron thing. You know, but you go back, Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic, they would always you know, put a little extra frosting against, you know, against bum-ass teams. Because that's who you do that against. That's who you have fun against. The Hawks. We cloud everybody. We cloud everybody. It's, it's, it's the like, it's, it's, seriously, the Hawks were the. Do you, do you remember the Washington Generals? Yes, had I remember. Play every night the against the Hawks. Yes. Yeah, they're just the paid extras. You know, like they're but just you, supposed to put on. You know, but you said that. Look you, you said that about the, Char the Hornets. That be that be OKC. Because see, everybody, LeBron, LeBron give people the business, and then you do Okay, well, if he plays somebody legit, and he gives them the business, I'll come in here and say, that was legit. They, play, they played Houston. They lost the game, but did he not give them the business? No, he lost the game. Oh, so. What, what is your I restaurant? Know, it was the oh, restaurant. Okay, so I just he want to lost the okay, game. Right. If so, he had won the okay, game, so, so I'm the, good. I just want to make sure. Moral victories no, 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 no. So I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. Mm -hmm. So LeBron James can have a game where he scores 10 points, shoot 4 of 26, uh, from the field, as long as they win, everything's all good. I just okay. want to get you on record saying that. Give me Golden State, give me San Antonio, give me somebody legit from the West, or give me Boston. Give me Boston. We just did Boston. You did it in. Yeah, come on now, Shannon. You got them in the first game of the season, and uh, the man Gordon Gordon Hayward had it had a horrific injury. Let me say this. And I know a lot of times people may believe that Skip is being too hard on LeBron. And yes, he obviously is trolling LeBron. 
But Skip is grading LeBron according to the measure that LeBron has established for himself. That is being the guy who's going to surpass Jordan. So Shannon always gets very frustrated at how Skip appraises LeBron's performances. But LeBron is being appraised based off of the standard that he's established for himself. So you can't compare uh, the, the, the evaluations that Skip Bayless gives for LeBron to the evaluations that he gives other players. Because other players have not constantly compared themselves to Michael Jordan. Other players have not had the media compare them to Michael Jordan as incessantly as LeBron James has and has willfully had that comparison be made. In the opening game, it's the, they Damn, lost they Gordon Hayward. Game, they don't count. First game of the season, don't they count. lost Gordon Hayward. A Paul was cast we, over the whole game. Don't worry about it. I mean, they were... They, they were <laughs> we were putting the foots up in it. Put the foots up in it. You were foot. losing when Gordon Hayward yeah. was down. Yeah, yeah uh, Kyrie. Man. We coming for you. Uh, coming up next for... The- <laughs> I can't wait for that to happen. I seriously hope that Cleveland and Boston do meet up, at least in a series of significance, hopefully in the Eastern Conference Finals. That will definitely be something worth seeing. But anyway, that's it on the LeBron James issue. He, the brother is having, in my view, the greatest season that he's ever had. So we'll see how far it goes. I still believe that they're going to get to the Finals. And I do believe that they're going to lose to whoever comes out of the West, particularly if it's Golden State. Now, Houston, if Houston were to make it to the finals, they may be a little bit too nervous to deal with somebody as experienced as LeBron. But I guess we'll find out. Peace.